Hey everyone, it's Elias with RV Simple Life. We're at Walmart, our favorite store. No, not really. But uh, I wanted to, we're just right here in the camping section, uh, the RV uh, aisle. And I wanted to show you just a few things that I found uh, that are RV uh, items, accessories that you, know, you might want to use in your RV. I, I'm not saying you shouldn't use them. I'm just saying that there's a better way. Um, a lot of new RVers are coming out right now and they're gonna be going through buying all these different things in the store. Some, a lot of people shop at Walmart, so they're gonna be looking for a deal. But some of the things that they have here, they're not really the best option for you to get. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you five, right now I'm gonna show you five things that you need, but maybe not buy these ones. And then I'm, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you five alternates of things that you can buy that actually would be a better choice for you. So I'm gonna grab the camera right here and I'm gonna show you some things here real quick. Number one, RV toilet paper. Now, some of you might really like RV toilet paper and you should you you should be careful about what you put down in your in the toilet, but it just needs to be quickly dissolving. Um, and I'm gonna show you, once again, an alternate to use, but I don't buy this anymore. I used to buy this. Uh, I bought many of these packs, but not anymore uh, because you don't really need to get RV toilet paper. Number two, there's a uh, uh, kind of a basic Camco uh, RV water pressure regulator. Now, this is about nine bucks right here. And um, this is very basic though. And you're gonna, this will be better than nothing and you should have something on your RV. But this is, uh, is just something very, very basic that will get you through for a little. Next thing, real quick. Um, this is a, a black tank cleaner. It's kind of a treatment. There's four packs in here. There's four little units in here. And you can see right here, it's 10 bucks for this. So we have actually two toilets in our RV. And uh, so this would cost $5 every time you wanted to treat your, your black tank. And that's just an expensive way to go about it. Uh, number next right here, number th number four is the Camco water filter. This is an enclosed water filter. You can't open this up. You can't change the filter inside. This lasts about 30 days and it's not rated very high. It's at about 20 microns, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if it says it on here, uh, but it's not, not filtering out very much at all uh, in, in your RV, but it's better than nothing. And it really does help. It'll keep out the sand. It'll keep out bigger particles uh, that, you know, right here it says that it improves some of these things right here. Uh, bad taste, odor, sediments, bacteria, chlorine, much, much more. But there are better ways to do things rather than having to use this. Plus when, you're, when 30 days goes by and this is all filled up with junk inside here, you can't clean it out. Uh, you have to just throw it away. And then when you come back to the store, you're gonna be spending about 18 bucks to replace it. And that's just not really the best way to go. And number five, last thing right here, this wheel chalk right here. Now they sell these at Walmart for 350, um, and, but they're very basic. It's just a piece of plastic. Um, and if you're in grass, you're in sand, you're in a gravel, a place like that, this is gonna be fine for you, really, to be honest. You're only out weekend warrior and you like going to places like that, uh, where that's your campsite's gonna be more, uh, more earthy, this should be fine. But uh, if you're gonna be going to places that are resorts, you're gonna be going to places that maybe have a stone or brick or a cement pad, this can slip out from underneath your tire. This is not gonna work for you. Um, and so an alternate for that would be um, something like we use. We actually use one, it's very similar to this, but it's all rubber. That's the thing, is that this is all rubber um, and it will stick, it'll stick underneath your tire. When you wedge it under there, it'll stay there without any movement, no any problem at all. So that's alternate number one. Number two, with this, we use a whole house filter. Um, whole house filter is gonna filter out more microns. It's, you can get it down to five or two or three microns with a, with a whole house filter and those are only five to ten bucks to replace once you once you uh, get your RV set up with that and I'll show you some pictures of that here in just a second um, these here the, to clean out the uh, your black tank what my wife and I do is we put when we're gonna travel we fill up uh, put it we put maybe two gallons of water in and we then we fill throw in about four or five cups of ice in the toilet and as you're going down the road all that's moving around in the toilet and it's cleaning out your tank and it's cleaning out your sensors um, Another thing that we have for an alternate with this uh, water pressure regulator is a we actually use an adjustable water pressure regulator so you know exactly you have much more control over what uh, your RV uh, is getting as far as water pressure and that's really really important. 
I'm actually got a video coming up here very, very soon. I'm talking all about the actual water pressure regulator we use, the adjustable one. And uh, you're not gonna wanna miss that video because uh, I go more in depth about it. Uh, and for this here, I'm gonna have to go to another aisle here in Walmart, but the one that we use. If you wanna use this, you should use this. Uh, if you feel more comfortable about using this this product, you're fine with you. And I used it for years. Uh, actually, I used this for years. Uh, I've never used this. I did use this for years, and I have used this for years. But as time goes on, you begin to realize there's a better way of doing it. And so I wanna help you with that so you can save some money. So let's go on down to the next aisle. All right, folks, we're at Walmart in the uh, toilet paper aisle, and I wanted to show you a couple things here real quick. These are the only two brands that I would trust for the RV. Cottonelle Ultra Clean Care. It's gotta say that, Cottonelle Ultra Clean Care. Not Ultra Comfort Care, that's not gonna work for you. It's gotta be Cottonelle Ultra Clean Care. You can think about the blue package if you want to. We've used that and has no, had not had any trouble. The second one, that's the mainstream toilet paper you could use in your RV, which we've used, is Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. I would not use Quilted Northern Ultra Soft and Strong uh, or anything else that's down this aisle. No Charmin, no Walmart toilet paper, no Angel Soft, no black and white package right down there. None of that, I wouldn't use any of that stuff at all in my RV. Only these two brands right here. This one and this one. And I will put a link in the description so that you can see that there are several other RV toilet papers you can use as well as these two are on that list. I wanna show you that. So click, check out the link in the description. All right, everybody. I wanted to show you the alternate that we use uh, for a wheel, wheel chuck um, for our RV. This is all rubber right here. Um, I bought a set of these on, on Amazon for $21, I believe. Um, and they're all rubber, so um, they're more pliable. Um, they will they will sit under your tire much better, and especially on the concrete like this, on the bricks, it'll stay under there like that. And it's got a nice little handle that'll be able to pull it out as well. So I really, really like these. They haven't moved on us at all. Um, we have one there. I put this we that piece of wood under there just for just because I still had it, and I have one here. And you could put them on the other side as well. This is the adjustable water pressure regulator that we use right now. There's a there's a little screw here on the top. You can turn it to uh, make your water pressure higher or lower. And I've got a full uh, video coming up very soon on this water pressure regulator. And you're gonna wanna see that. I go very, very much in depth about it. And then this here is what I we use for a alternate to the Camco uh, water filter that they that I was showing you just a moment ago. Uh, so we've got we have two here. Uh, this one uh, filters out the bigger particles. This one filters out the smaller particles. But this is much better option to go this way rather than the Camco because the Camco is disposable unit. Once you use it, you've got to throw it away. This you can open these up and just replace the filters inside, and they're only five, seven, eight dollars each, and a much more uh, efficient way of doing. It. All right, folks, I hope that was a help to you to learn of maybe some alternative items you can use in your RV for accessories. Um, also, I'm gonna list those things at the end of this video. I'm just gonna put them one, two, three, four, five, uh, so you can see them in list form as well. Um, also, if you do me a favor, uh, maybe tell me some things that you're using in your RV for accessories. Maybe some of the items I mentioned, uh, you're using something different, uh, but something that you really like that you've learned about uh, over the years please share that with me. I'd love to hear that. I'm always learning uh, and willing to learn new things as well. Please, uh, if you haven't taken a moment to subscribe to our channel, please do so. Hit that button below here, and we'd appreciate that very, very much. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.